User enrollment is a way for Apple to manage bring your own devices. This enrollment require manage Apple ID and Apple Business Manager. I can include a URL on how to create your Apple Business Manager tenant. The manage Apple ID can live side by side with the personal Apple ID. I have seen this question coming up in the tech community multiple times. The question about the difference between user enrollment versus app protection policy. I always recommend using BYOD enrollment as the primary method for enrollment and app protection policy can sit on top of it. User enrollment can provide you with the security features that does not exist with app protection policies like use of compliance policies, visibility of devices in Intune, use of conditional access to allow the access paid based on device compliance status. Let's take a look on how to apply the user enrollment profile. Go devices, then iOS, iOS, iPad, OS enrollment, and then user enrollment type. I have already created mine, but I can edit properties and then look here. If I I'd like to I always like to use determine based on user choice. You can use user choice or you, you can use user enrollment or device enrollment. Device enrollment means always MDM. So follow my blog, the rolled iOS devices will show up under devices, iOS with ownership personal. Then you can create compliance policy and scope it to personal devices only. Create filters, create a new filter, give it a name, personal iOS devices. Then you give it the platform, go next, manufacturer equal Apple. And the expression, another expression will be device ownership equal to personal. Then you hit next, you can create, go back to iOS, compliance policy, create a new one. Give it a name, call it personal, personal compliance policy. Next, you can have unable to set up email on the device. Um, you can manage this one from here, either from here from the compliance policy or you can do it from the app protection policy. In my case, I like to do it from the app protection policy. So I'm skipping this one. Device status, I will block device health, jill broken. I will go device properties. I would allow only 16.0 as a minimum. Defender, in, in case you use Defender for endpoint, on iOS devices, you can use that. In my case, I don't use it. System security, most of these system security are on MDM devices. So you can control that using the app protection policy. And what, this is one of the reason that I would like to use BYOD enrollment as a primary, then apply app protection policies into the BYOD devices.
go next mark the device non-compliant immediately go next I create all devices add to all devices and put the filter that I just did or just made this one select go next create that will be it any new device that enroll BYOD will have the personal compliance policy applied to it then you can use that for for conditional access policies um, on the Azure AD or from the from Azure AD or endpoint security you can create a conditional access to block defi devices that isn't compliant